Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NFL matches that is happening on Friday, November 24th, 2023. We will be providing our team, total, and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comment section below. Miami Dolphins vs. New York Jets Since the opening of the betting line on Sunday night, the flow of money has overwhelmingly favored the Miami Dolphins. Initially set as a 7-point favorite, the Dolphins' advantage increased substantially after news broke about Zach Wilson's benching from the Jets. Even before this change, bettors weren't inclined to support the Jets, and once Mike White was announced as the starter, the influx of bets favoring Miami intensified. Currently, the line has risen to minus 10 at various sportsbooks, and it's projected to continue increasing until the game begins. However, despite this momentum, it's essential to note that the Dolphins haven't performed remarkably well recently, going 1-3 against the spread ATS, in their last four games. Last week's matchup against the Raiders was expected to be an easy win for Miami, especially playing at home, yet it turned out to be more challenging than anticipated. Even though the Dolphins managed to force three interceptions as 14-point favorites, they narrowly secured a seven-point victory, which raises concerns about their ability to dominate weaker opponents. This apprehension is compounded by the fact that their prior victory was against a quarterback making only his third career start, and it was the Dolphins' first game after a bye week. Despite these advantages, they didn't perform as expected, indicating a potential unpredictability in their performance against supposedly weaker teams like the Jets. Moreover, the Jets' defense is notably stronger than that of the Las Vegas Raiders, adding another layer of uncertainty to the Dolphins' presumed dominance. Nevertheless, if the Jets' offense continues to struggle, their defense may succumb to pressure, potentially allowing the Dolphins to secure a substantial lead early in the game. Observing the performances of both teams throughout the season, it's challenging to envision any scenario where the Dolphins don't emerge dominant. The Dolphins possess a significant offensive advantage over the Jets and might not even need to perform at their peak to comfortably secure a win and cover the spread in most foreseeable circumstances. This aspect poses a daunting challenge for those considering betting against Miami this week, as their offensive superiority creates a considerable barrier for any opposing strategy. Zach Wilson bears some responsibility for the Jets' offensive struggles this season, but it's crucial to recognize that the team's issues extend beyond him. Wilson has faced consistent challenges due to a lack of protection in the pocket, hindering his ability to generate productivity. Defenses have exploited this weakness by focusing on shutting down running back Brees Hall, knowing there's little threat from the Jets' passing game. Consequently, the Jets' offensive woes have persisted throughout the season, creating a continuous cycle of inefficiency. The decision to place Joe Flacco in a no-win situation is likely to result in further agony. He faces physical pain behind an unreliable offensive line, leading Jets fans to endure six more games of watching an offense that struggles to gain yardage. While Flacco might represent an improvement, considering he only managed to score one touchdown in three games, it's a low bar to surpass. On top of this, his debut game places him against one of the most explosive offenses in the league, adding to the pressure. Adding to the Jets' woes, the absence of offensive tackle Mekhi Becton due to an ankle injury until early December, along with the questionable status of veteran offensive tackle Duan Brown due to a shoulder issue, only exacerbates the team's already precarious situation. I'm firmly in favor of picking Miami to win this game. While I do have some concerns about the short week and the fact that they're a strong favor on the road, these worries aren't enough to sway me toward considering any other option. Miami's recent narrow escape following their bye week should serve as a wake-up call for the team. Given the crucial divisional implications as they strive to maintain their lead over the Bills, I anticipate quarterback Tua Tagovailoa and the rest of the Dolphins to perform at a high level. In past Thanksgiving games, we've witnessed weak Detroit Lions teams consistently fall short despite being home underdogs in similar short week scenarios. 
this year's Jets team shares resemblances with those Lions squads, and considering the circumstances, I feel more comfortable backing the road team, especially given their significant advantages. Moreover, there's limited exposure to Joe Flacco within the Jets setup, and even if the team as a whole were stronger, I might be inclined to place more trust in Flacco's abilities. However, the Jets' offense is struggling comprehensively, and I find it hard to believe that Flacco represents a substantial upgrade. If I happen to be mistaken, I'm open to allowing Flacco to prove his worth, but currently, my confidence in the Jets' offensive capabilities is quite low. Considering Boyle's potential to at least maintain the status quo and the likelihood of the Jets' defense faltering, I'm inclined to lean towards betting the over on the total points for this game. Anticipating Miami's offense to assert dominance early and possibly build a substantial lead, I don't foresee the Jets' defense holding up for an extended period. This scenario could pave the way for the Dolphins to string together significant offensive gains, especially in the latter half of the game as they aim to secure a comfortable victory. Miami has shown a tendency to capitalize against weaker opponents, often racking up points even when the game seems in hand. Reviewing Miami's performances against teams currently at or below .500 this season, the Chargers, Patriots, Broncos, Giants, Panthers, and Raiders, the Dolphins posted scoring figures of 36, 24, 70, 31, 42, 31, and 20 points respectively, resulting in a 4-3 over-under record. Even if we exclude the outlier of a 70-point game against Denver, the average remains impressive at 30.66 points per game. Considering Miami's potential to score 30 points or more, the Jets might struggle to put up significant points yet again. Even if the Jets failed to score a touchdown, Miami's offensive output might still be sufficient to surpass the total points line. It's also worth noting that Miami has shown vulnerabilities defensively, with even subpar teams managing to score at least 13 points against them in those seven matchups against .500 or worse opponents.